A New York Times op-ed claims that children should be able to transition genders because they need freedom to make mistakes. It's titled, There is no way to live a life without regret. It says, quote, what are we saying, really, when we worry that a child will regret this particular decision, the decision to transition? And how is it different, really, from the decision I made to quit competitive swimming? Joining us now, we have Jessica Cohen. She is a California mom whose daughter was once socially transitioned to a boy by her school, didn't notify her. And then we have Center for American Liberty Executive Director Mark Trammell. Thank you all both for being on with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jessica, what's your reaction to this? First of all, tell us the story about what happened to your child. I know you sued California School District. You actually won. Tell us what happened and your reaction to this article. Um, well, I, I personally experienced a lot of secrecy. I experienced a troubled child. Um, I feel like our schools have thought that they could pop you know, possibly parent better. They decided to make adult choices with my child. Um, there was a lot of hush hush and a lot of behind the parents back and it's emotionally traumatizing to our children. They are doing things that are inappropriate and I feel that my child was one of the survivors out of this horrible mess that's happening. And what's your reaction to this article saying comparing it to, you know, quitting the swim team? To be super honest, that's stupidity at its finest. You cannot compare a swim team to our poor children. These type of mistakes are causing our children to either, you know, in their lives, they regret things. Of course, we all make mistakes, but it's our job as parents to love them, to guide them, direct them from making those poor mistakes. Of course, you know, we want our kids to have freedom, but they have enough freedom as, as children. Let them be children. You know, these type of things. A mistake is an action that is misguided. It's not adequate information. They don't have enough knowledge about things. They should not be making adult choices and comparing it to, you know, quitting a swim team versus sexually transitioning or cutting off body parts. These are our children. Mm. That is, that's the horrible, you know, uh, type of, uh, you know, example that she could have used. This type of freedom that she is expressing in her article it's harming our children. It is not making them feel like, oh, you know, regretful. This is harming our children. Mark, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's a cold and, and callous perspective to take. You know, our laws protect kids because kids lack the capacity to understand the nature and the consequences of some of the decisions that they're confronted with, right? And you know, the Center for American Liberty, we were able to represent Jessica and her, and her daughter, and uh, Jessica's a hero. Um, she, she filed this lawsuit and won and has inspired more parents to, uh, to do the same. Mm -hmm. We also represent three young women who have gone through surgical transitions as minors mm -hmm. and who are experiencing that regret today. And as adults, many of us as parents, we should be doing everything we can to protect other kids from experiencing that irreversible damage and trauma that those young women are experiencing today. Yeah, I mean, Jessica, why are they trying to normalize this and act like it's not a big deal? You know what, I'm, I'm really not sure why they have such a huge grip on our children, but their mistakes that, that our children are making, they're supposed to be able to innocently make those mistakes, but the mistakes that are being made now, they're not, they're life choices. They're causing our children, like my own, mental issues, depression. My daughter almost committed suicide due to her freedom of mistakes. Mm. And her mistakes were not so much hers. They were, um, you know, hey, encouraged mistakes that, that she should try to make, you know? Jessica, so she was only they 11, They should leave right? our children alone, period. Our kids have enough freedoms. It's just, it's absurd. It's ignorance. It's child abuse to not sit there and parent our kids and have interest in them and not guide them away from making that poor mistake. How is she doing that? I understand she was a, mistakes, Wasn't she 11 years old? I mean, what grade is that? 11 is what, like third grade, fourth grade? <laughs> she just started sixth grade, actually. But yeah. My gosh. Starts, it starts how earlier, she, to be uh, honest, and it's how, heartbreaking. Yeah, how's she doing? She's doing wonderful. She's actually, she's in Disneyland, and she's having a wonderful time. Her smile is so genuine, the love she has for herself. You know, she was lost momentarily, 
but by the grace of God and, and by the support of everyone and her finding herself, she's doing so good. Okay. I'm so proud of her. Jessica, Mark, thank you so much for coming on. God bless you both. Thank you so much for having You're us. You're welcome. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.